class of Jurassic World Dominion. Give it up. So as y'all know, Jurassic World opens tomorrow and millions are eager to see it. That includes pediatric patients in hospitals across America. Sadly for these kids, a trip to the movie theater just isn't possible. And that's where Lollipop Theater Network comes in. This nonprofit actually brings blockbuster movies to children's hospitals for private screenings. Sometimes the stars show up as well. It's super cool. And both Chris and Bryce have actually participated um, in this amazing program. And it really does make a difference um, to these kids and the family. So here to talk about it is the co-founder, Evelyn. Give it up for her, y'all. Uh, you look beautiful. Thank you. Um, so um, say hi to everybody else as well. Hi, There's everybody else. Full couches today. <laughs> um, so this is such a cool idea. So explain how it works. Sure. Well, we're lucky enough to work with the major motion picture studios to bring movies that are currently in theaters to kids' hospitals around the country so they don't miss out. They get yeah. to see it at bedside. They get to see it in a group. Red carpet, movie tickets, and like you said, sometimes the stars come in. Yeah, that must be so exciting for them. So just like Hollywood, though, you had to network to kind of make this happen. Right? I did, and uh, a friend of a friend of a friend knew someone uh, over at George Lucas, and that was the first film we got, which was Star Wars, Attack of the Clones. Last week was our 20th anniversary of screening that film. Wow. Um, and it's just, it's really impactful, and everyone should know, like bringing movies for these kids to be able to see. I mean, I remember a little boy, he was three years old and had gotten a call that he wasn't gonna make it through the weekend. And he really wanted to see Monsters, Inc. So a friend of mine was able to secure the movie at the time, it was early on, and brought it into the hospital. And he got to watch it with his grandmother and his mother. And at the end, I was waiting outside and, and the mom came out and her face was streaked with tears. And she yeah. said, I just, I want to thank you for allowing me to give my son the only thing he's asked me for before he leaves me. Yeah. And I realize what an impact Ooh. these movies have on kids and the families. Yeah. So it's important. I can't imagine being in that moment. Um, so both of you have actually worked with the Lollipop Theater so, um, Network. So what was your experience like? Yeah, um, there, there's, it's, it's incredible. I mean, I, don't, I can't think of anything that we get to do with our sort of unique and incredible jobs Mm. That that fills me more than seeing these kids. I mean, it, you see that their bodies are are broken, but their spirits absolutely are not. And yeah. and it's very very moving to be uh, even a, a part of that of, of making them smile, or maybe even their siblings. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. you know, if if they've been battling something for a while, sometimes their siblings feel like they haven't been getting much attention from mom and dad, which makes sense. Yeah. And so just to be able to be part of that, it it. It puts everything in perspective and pro provides just a profound amount of meaning to what we get to do. Yeah, because it's not just escapism for the kid; it's also for the family. That's yeah. that's that's a it's a it's a heavy thing, you know. If on like you said, like other siblings or on parents, and it's a nice moment. So, what was it like for you, Bryce? Yeah, I mean, it's exactly what you're saying. Um, it, it it's it's one of those scenarios where a, a family is facing something that is truly unimaginable. And Especially because we all have kids. Like that's just like a yeah yeah. yeah. It's 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 absolutely horrifying to think about. Mm -hmm. And you know we joke all the time when we're on set. We're like, oh my gosh, we have like one of the silliest jobs in the world. You know, and it and it feels really absurd that we get paid for for what we do. But you you come into a room and you know you you're you're with a kid who's been fighting for their life for however long and you you look into these parents eyes who have just been just ravaged by what they've been dealing with mm -hmm. and if they can laugh for one second or get swept up in something yeah. for one second mm -hmm. that that is the most meaningful thing in the world and so it's an honor yeah honestly. it is well, we're actually fortunate to have a few kids from the Lollipop Theater Network dialed in right now. So say hello <laughs> to Ayla, Liam, Sarah, Malachi, Emma, and Mikey. Hi, guys. Hiya. Hey. So I hear Mikey, who is nine, and at Santa Rosa Children's Hospital in San Antonio has a question for the cast. So what's your question, Mikey? I love Jurassic World, and I wanted to ask, what are y'all favorite dinosaurs? Oh, I really like, and this is not a spoiler because now they're in the trailer, so I don't feel bad, but I love the dinosaurs that fly. So I think oh. the Quetzalcoatlus is one of the coolest. Yeah. I, and I also- So you don't mean like the pterodactyl, you mean the new one, like in the movie. Yeah. 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 It's like the yeah, size yeah. of a plane. Yeah. Like oh no, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
questions I, right when you were like, I think we're in the clear. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's when it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's somebody else's favorite? I, I love the Triceratops. <gasps> Me too. It's my favorite. Yeah. It's easily my favorite because they're so gentle. They're herbivores. They're really sweet, but they have three horns and they will gore you yeah. if you mess with them. So yeah, you know, you gotta... Like a spirit animal. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of a spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like that. Anybody else have a favorite? Go ahead. I have. I, we have a couple of kids. We've got a six-year-old, Charlie, yeah. and a five-year-old. They've never been to a movie theater. They're going to go see this movie, yeah. but I showed them Jurassic Park and the second one um, on TV. And their favorite one from the first one was the was the oh, yeah. oh, Dilophosaurus the yeah. 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 and the what, spit. They thought it was funny and terrifying. So I guess <laughs> that's my fa that's my favorite one. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much, Mikey, um, and thank you so much to all the kids who joined us. Let's give a round of applause to Ayla, Liam, Sarah, Malachi, Emma, and Mikey. So we love what the Lollipop Network is all about. So we reached out to our friends at Scholastic who know um, that a good story has the power to enrich the lives of young people and that all children deserve access to quality stories that will engage, inspire, and bring joy. That's why they are going to donate $5,000 in books and $5,000 in cash to Lollipop Theater Network. It is a very cool Thank thing you. that y'all do. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Um, remember, Jurassic World Dominion is in theaters tomorrow. It's amazing. You've got to go see it.